Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to create documents for our student collection. So for that, you will see one plus icon over here that is add document. So click on it and you will see the screen like this. So here we need to provide the values for the fields in the format of JSON. See it's clearly mentioned this is JSON format. So we know that MongoDB stores the documents in the format of JSON and in JSON we have key value pairs. So say I want to have one document in which name field has value as John. So this is very simple field name and its value is John. So click on the add document. See we have one document and there are a couple of views if you see over here in the drop down the table view is there see the name John is appearing over here the batter is like tree view and if you expand see we have name field which has value as John and if you look at the underscore ID field that is being created by the MongoDB we haven't provided value for it and it has some value so it is kind of a primary key that we have in SQL so it will be very useful to identify a particular document uniquely. So you can consider underscore ID field as primary key in MongoDB, which has unique value for each and every document so that we can uniquely identify a particular document. And if you see, there is a JSON view as well. So see, we have one field name as John and another is created by MongoDB that is underscore ID. So this is very simple document with just one field. Now let's create another document. So go over here and again we need to follow the JSON format. So now I'm giving the name field value as Peter and I want to have mail ID for Peter. So let me give Peter at gmail.com and now I want to have sub document inside the student document. So let me give department. So this is the sub document. So in JSON, we do like this. If you are already aware, then this will be very useful. Now this department is sub document that is inside the document of student collection and it can have its own set of fields. Say it has department name and I want to have the department name value as computer science. Let me maximize the window to have better idea. So the department name is computer science and I want to have the another field as location. So let me give India. Now let's insert this document in the student collection. So click on the add document. So see, we have another document and to have better idea, go to tree view, expand this. See, name is Peter, mail ID is Peter at Gmail and department has two fields. Let's expand the department sub document, the department name and location. This is what we have provided. And obviously we have underscore ID, which is to uniquely identify a particular document and it is getting generated by MongoDB. Now let's have another document. Let's maximize this. And now I want to have the name as Steve. So let's have mail ID for Steve. Say Steve at gmail.com. Yeah, everyone is using Gmail, you can <laughs> say. So we are using this Gmail uh, for the example purpose. Don't worry if you are not using the Gmail, you can give any. This is just an example. <laughs> so let me have a uh, subjects array here. Okay. So we know that we can have the array of sub documents like subjects. In this document, we don't want to have sub document department because in the previous document, we had that. Now in this, I want to have array of sub documents and that is subjects. So we know that in JSON, we can have array with the square brackets, something like this. So this is the array. Now 
there will be sub documents and that is subject sub document so this is one sub document and let's have fields as subject underscore name let me give java and another is marks obtain say 70 so this is one sub document that is subject sub document now i want to have another sub document as well so let me copy this one we need to provide the comma because this is array and we need to follow the json format the subject we will change to mongodb and say marks obtain 80 so here we don't have department sub document but we have array of sub documents and that is subject sub documents say if you are doing any mistake in the json say i'm not doing this comma over here you can validate this json and click on the validate json see it will give you error so let's put this comma back and again click on the validate json so see it is saying that the document contains valid json so we are good to go click on the add document and here it is added see if you expand the subjects it is the array on the zero index we have one sub document that is subject so it has two fields subject name and marks obtain and another sub document of subject on the array that is on the index of one and it has subject name and marks obtain now let's go to the table view so if you look at the table view, then you might feel that for this particular document, the mail field has blank value, but that's not true. And that you will get a clear idea by having the tree view or JSON view. Let's go to the tree view and let me collapse this one. See, this particular document doesn't have mail field. This document has, this document has. This document doesn't have department sub document this has this doesn't have so in mongodb each document can have different set of fields can you imagine this in sql say for each and every row you have different number of columns no that's not possible right because while creating the table we are defining the structure the columns we want to have for that table but that is sql and this is no sql and that's the beauty of no sql so that we have flexibility each document can have different number of fields and set of fields that it want to save in the particular collection so you might be thinking what will happen if we query over the mail will it fail so that we will see in the next lecture when we are going to read the documents for the student collection so you will get better idea of this so see you in the next lecture thank you very much